time to mix lives and change drinks. Welcome back to Valhalla. With ominous music. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you're forgetting something. Uh, this really needs a random button. Or perhaps more aptly, I really don't care button. Ready. All done. Feeling better? Fresh air does wonders for you. Well, for given air value, fresh anyway. I insist that sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded like some heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, that. Damn it. Uh. Who? Okay. What's wrong with your face? I could have sworn this place looked a lot bleh. This place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it is the lighting. Hey, bartender, what does that noise sound like to you? This is not fitting to the character, but I started it before. I hate you. What is wrong with you? This guy is gross, and I don't want him in my bar. The other w robots looked all right, but this guy, I don't know, man. Some skeevy stuff going on here. I say it sounds like construction, but Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Don't you, Betty? Eh? Do you think it's dynamite then? It's obviously gunshots. But how, how would news- it's been like an hour. How would the news not be reporting on whatever actually happened by now? Firecrackers! Shut up, Dana. See, it sounds like have been going on all night and we can't figure out what they are. Like, I mean... Even if this happened, like, right now, not in, like, super connected future, like, this would be all over Twitter in, like, three minutes. Whatever. But we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to, um, who is he? Look at her face! Calm down. Gillian, nice to meet you. I don't know, you have more of a John face. Would you stop that? Was he, where was he last weekend? I don't know and I don't care. I already make amends for leaving me to fend off all those dogs. Anyway, what do you want? The piss explosion. Beer! She wants a piss explosion too. Oh, what the hell, I'll have a beer too. Deal! What kind of name is that? Get- you're gross! Stop being gross. Go somewhere else. Two beers. Oakley dokley. We've got like super cyberpunk madness drinks, and everyone just wants beers. Granted, having seen the descriptions of most of our other drinks, I can't really blame them. Most of our drinks are like hot piss mixed with cold piss. There you go. Thank you. Man, after work, beer is always the best beer. I, I can't keep a consistent voice for her. I'm sorry. I'm not into it today. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait, I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Well, it's like a tsunami, except it's dog piss. Oops, I forgot to read that line. So it's- oh wait, I keep forgetting I have this. The few times I miss a line. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hour, and we don't have that many regulars. That's- kind of dire now that I think about it. So it's just the same, nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Uh, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Why would you sit next to the sleeping drunk, you creeps? Oh, preview. Please don't wake her up. Do you regularly let sleep people sleep here? Kind of? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. <laughs> Agreed. Should you be saying that with at least 60,000 people listening? Let them hear. I don't care. 60,000 people? She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's streaming her life 24-7. Sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing somebody doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing us. Camera's against the table. I don't know how many are still on the channel, though. I see. So, there will be a lot more witnesses if anything is said. Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. 
Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What'd you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. I see. <laughs> this is some intense graffiti music. Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. <laughs> Reasonable. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So how's things at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? The name rings a bell. It's that textile company was the owner believes to be an alpaca. Oh, yeah, that one. We had her in here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva everywhere. Why? What? Why are there so many bodily fluids in this bar? God damn, people. Just keep your fluids inside of yourselves, and there won't be a problem. But anyway, dog clothes? We hired a new employee, and she showed up some, higher up some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know? But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have two... I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see, I'll have a... <laughs> everyone orders... Okay, so everyone orders either a beer... A Brantini or a Piano Man. There's like almost nothing else. Two brand teenies. Brand teeny is still the best name though. Age mixed. One, two, three. Aged mixed. There you go. You have such a wimpy taste. That's what I'm saying! Oh, and somebody confirmed that yes, the thing that Cat Eared Lady wanted was a piano man when I messed up her order. I thought I remembered a story about a piano man, but I couldn't remember if that was the, like, if it was made, like, if, the, if it was about the drink or a story somebody had about the drink. Eh, whatever. Not all of us spend their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You robots and your... Shouldn't, shouldn't you just know things? I mean, you are robots. You should just... Oh, whatever. This city is so impractical and stupid. Whatever. You missed nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Something on your mind? That girl's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cured, but should she take... She should take more care in her appearance. I mean... Right now, she fits the unkempt cute Gary, so, well, it's almost painful. It's so cliche, I can't help but cringe when looking at her. Calm, calm your face holes down. Cringe? It's like when you see something that's a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel the need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people! <laughs> I wasn't gonna kick her. Why'd you think I would kick her? Because I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine, guilty as charged. Still, I'm going to do something about her. I feel I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. I really do wish this had an instant text option. It still doesn't. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. But she has potential, and I'm not like, going to let her waste it. Jill, I'm going to check out the antenna. Why are you just right here? She's... <laughs> Sliding into my mentions over here. Jill, I'm gonna check out the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope, I'm just the veterinarian. The, bo the dogs are the ones that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's really good looking, but honestly, the pants rob her of charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm... Well, she wears a skirt or pants depending on her mood. There was also this one time where she came in wearing a kilt. <laughs> that kilt was awesome! Damn, she has nice hearing. <laughs> now that I think about it, you have the hobby of speculating that somebody's personality is based on just on their looks. I mean, you did the same time with Jill here. Amazing, you actually made that sound weird as hell. It is weird as hell! Yes, yeah, so I have the habit of trying to understand someone's behavior on the looks. No, not the hobby. You made that sound like I'm sort of creep. You are. I did? What do you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you are too polite. 
think that's kind of a bartender thing. Not a natural kind of polite. Yeah, that, that that's called a bartender. That's Have you literally ever met a public... Well, not public, but like... Any service person literally ever? That was it, really. Also, the way you looked at me when I talked to your boss, could you just go to shorts? was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil then? Hmm, he is ein Fook boy. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. He's a, a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Poor Gillian. Anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. That's a good, good idea. If you have a piano man, I will kick you out. You have something strong. You have to pump out some testosterone into your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. I don't think robots... I mean, well... Who knows? They, they make their robots really stupid, so maybe they do have testosterone. To strong manly drinks. Manly drinks for men! To give you gratuitous amounts of energy! Menergy! Alright, manly drinks. Yeah, that sounds pretty strong. And disgusting, but yeah. Let's yeah, just fill it up with cardabarp. What? Isn't that... What? What? Oh, crap, it's blended. I blend things so rarely I forget it's even a thing. Oops, I didn't reset this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just fill the rest with that. You're gonna have some strong ass, disgusting drinks. <laughs> this music. Underappreciated drink. Okay. Now, drink. Oh, man up, you'll get used to it. Hey, Jill, has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? What? What is that? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a joke. Just a prank, bro? Proposal prank gone wrong. First year of high school, the guy I had my eyes on for a whole year asked me out. Saturday morning, I got to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I. Well, why would. Why would it be anything but bad? Why <laughs> would. You're stupid. Everyone in the city is stupid. Except me. The worst part of it was... Isn't that they set it up, but rather I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all. So when it happened, I felt nothing. It confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. <laughs> okay. Calm. Calm. Why, why would you ask literally anyone? <laughs> a piece of scrap. Yeah. These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. You should never say anything. You're terrible. It's better to learn by, it's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question though? Uh, uh, I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the last couple of days. If it were somebody else, I pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. <laughs> Sadly, she knows who I am. The best part is knowing Vero. She probably put her cousin out to it as a practical joke. Well, that's just telling the cousin she should cut it out. Like, yeah, pretty much. She feels genuinely offended she might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? <laughs> Waterboarding? <laughs> I said, what? The fact she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me the most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer. I don't think Girl Scouts do that. I... what? what? I don't... I'm... I'm... I'm 99% sure there is no Girl Scout badge for that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor in that if Gina's being honest about her, it probably won't be offended. Gina... which one was that again? 
Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to be to the Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should get going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. Oh, the cats always conspiring with the internet. Oh yeah, Gil, somebody asked you if... I should tell you the bunny's late. Oh shit. Oh shit, Gillian's in on it. He's in on it! Aw. Oh. If I don't come back in two days, consider me good as dead. Yeah, yeah. I think it was that kid that tells outrageous stories to get at attention. Everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe we can finish watching that didgeridoo tutorial. Please, no. This just in. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. News at this hour. The Apollo Trust Bank has just locked its doors, leaving 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Why, why would you go in the bank to steal the database? Literally this morning, the bank. Damn, that's rough. Ah, hello, Jamie. Ah. Hey, Jensen. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? It literally just came on. How did you already know it? The news flash just ended. Sounds like things just got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. I don't think you physically lock the doors because of, like, a digital breach. Whatever. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. Oh, shit. Would you... He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Jamie wants a Mars Blast. It sounds like... That sounds like one of those pounded by the pound, like, Amazon erotic novels. Blasted by Mars. Curiosity disorder or something. Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, four, one, blended. Here's your Mars Blast, buddy. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing is still its nickname. It's more of an orange, really. VR, I can't believe I'm Mars. Oh my god. Uh, get out of my bar, I hate you. Hey, who's this girl? <laughs> he looks so kawaii when he does that. He's not a very gruff man at all. She kills herself streaming, Jan. She's been screaming her life 24-7. Guessing her equipment's still running, so you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. I guess 6,000 people now know that Miss Hodgson or whatever is a cunt. Changing the subject a bit, have you ever heard- Have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? H how do you- I thought that a supersonic drone was under your own tests! People are all idiots. That might be it. Uh, hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones! That sounds better than firecrackers. I've been trying to figure out what they were all, were all day. Ah, I see. Sonic booms are not sounds people normally identify. This one drone made a lot of noise while breaking the sound barrier. Is there an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh. Man, if only Gil were here to hear that info. You thought there were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. That's totally not weird at all. I'd be lying if I said I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. He can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be all right? By the way, I've I've heard an interview with the the voice of Adam Jensen. He just sounds like that all the time. It's just his normal voice. It's kind of funny because it's a very ironic uh, or iconic voice, but it's just it's just his voice. This is the first time a bank is closed like that, but something is off about this. Off? How? Oh. I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that. 
the news and make an awful, unusually big stink about it. Really though, I kind of like how he has, he just has this visible softness in his eyes. Makes him a lot more interesting than just, you know, literally Adam Jensen. Let's hump him over thinking it. Yeah. You worried about something? The girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. It's not like me to be personally invested about what happens with clients, but never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I think I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. You people in your beer! God damn, I've got like 20 drinks and you order three. Here's your fake beer, bro. Flanger, blah. Uh, mixed. There you go. I just realized how weird it is for beer to be a mixed drink. I mean, it's fake beer, but still, I'm not sure how that would work. Whatever. Once read the beer <coughs> played an important part in humanity's history. It has. Sort of. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. Just as the brew is an important part of society during its development. Wait, how would... How would you not know this? I mean... History that's already well known would not really become less well known in like super hyper connected future. Whatever. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting, they help foster bonds and build fractional alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies will be born. You seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. <laughs> Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? What? Okay, that's a slight change of topic. I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself while you're still here? Well, so the part where you might die before you can upload? I mean, kind of obvious. Let's say you upload yourself and effectively if that's new someone's in cyberspace, you'd still be here. Wouldn't it be weird to know that's not a you that's somewhere, or there's a you that's not you somewhere? Oh man, I want to say something about a certain horror game released last year, but no, I can't. That's an interesting point. I guess it'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. Hell, imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each one to different scenarios to see how they develop. Kinda of making this pretty creepy. I guess it is heartbreaking in a way. Or you can make giant orgies with your own self, just saying. <clears throat> Imagine someone with an illness uploading their brain to the ether, only to find out their physical body is still alive and here instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back with the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. <laughs> Seems impractical. Use the words burn in the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. I halted all brain uploading research after that. I'm pretty sure this is why you test things. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something like <laughs> that. That subject introduces you, huh? Makes for a nice time sink while I'm doing nothing. Why don't, why don't you play video games or something not creepy? Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here, always a pleasure. Come back and talk about horrifying existential crises next time. Say hello to Gillian for me when it comes back. Please come again. Phew, all done. You wanna stay here? Seems the street's quite restless. Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. Yeah, I ordered a nano camo module for my apartment. What? Should be installed by now. Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep, to be honest, I asked my mom for it. She's been pestering me for about a gift for Mega Christmas for a while. I asked her for four years now, I always said it was fine. So I took the chance to ask I asked her for it. Used up all the past gifts. Oh. That's a bit weird when you ask your parents for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So all the enamel camel change from your apartment. You got the basic plan. Malls and one piece of cloth, so I kicked my kuketsu too. You have a kuketsu? Ah, the traditional American kuketsu. You know what a kuketsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. Ah, oh, Rude. I mean, futons are common knowledge, but a kuketsu, not so much. Yeah, well, days get cold and the heater might not be enough. The Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan to grab a beer. You people and your beer! Goddamn! No more dancing. I'm tired. What do we do with her? 
I'll take care of everything, don't worry. Uh-oh. Rest in peace, streaming Chan. Alright, sorry for leaving her here like this. No problem. Well, gotta go. See you here tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Get a nice wall pattern or something. Zero mistakes! Hooray! So, so thus far we've only made a single mistake. Still not entirely sure there are- I did confirm there is branching apparently. I'm not sure how all that works considering it seems to just be pass fail with no real choices. You can now use nano camo to customize your room. Jill wants to buy a, buy a fan even though it's winter. Buying one will prevent her from getting too distracted. Maybe if you get distracted, I guess? Uh, good old American Kokatsu. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. Anyway, let's go get a damn fan for Miss Weirdo here. Um, beer on discount. Mega Christmas tree! I bet we're gonna have to buy one of those. Where's this fan? $800 fan. Sure. The fans are good though, really good. Can we buy anything neat? Meet the staff. Meet the staff. Scribble now. It doesn't sound fun. Let's get the cartridges. And cracked blah to do. Hey, let's get the snatchers thing. No new notifications or reminder. Jill just bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. I kind of want to see what happens when we don't focus at work. Four. What's nano camo? Something to liven things up in this room. Oh, that's probably that app we were missing, huh? Sure. Pfft. What an odd icon for it. Mascot! Ah. Okay, we're turning off the scan lines so we can read this. Camo Tan is our mascot. She's designed by veteran character designer from Sukaban Games, Kirin51. Birthday, 24-1. Sizes, likes, Musashi, Battleship? Tactical fashion, peach cake. Okay. She's holding, like, a gun composed of, like, four polygons and a perfectly spherical grenade. Alright. Dano Game was a company founded in 2068. Aw, that's almost nice. And pioneer of the nano fabric, nano machine fabric capable of real time texture swap. Meant for military use, we bring our products to the general public at the most affordable prices. Okay. Oh god, what? Why is it so expensive? Uh. Table. I kind of want the bullets. Wait, no, I kind of want this. Wait, when when does my rent do? I don't want to be too irresponsible. Um, just tell me what rent is. I use nano camo. Eh, I should be fine. I just paid like a couple days ago. So let's get this and that. Nice. Wait, where's that poster? I guess that's our snatchers poster. And. What else did I buy? Here's our stupid fan. Um, cartridges. I guess that's what... I'm not sure if those were there before, or if it's these. Uh, if, if you haven't seen Famicom cartridges, that's the Japanese NES. Um, they look really cute, and American NES cartridges are just absolutely hideous. Apollo Bank is getting attacked. This isn't memes. Apollo Bank is being attacked. And no one's reporting on it. Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward. Do you have any sources here? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. I... This is exactly not what the news report said. Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Why are you in a bank then? None of this makes sense. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? That's not going to help the people. One of us is just a huge false flying to blame the opposition. I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. What? <laughs> this is the worst 4chan ever. 
It's like, ugh. You people are posting things in threads? No, we don't post things in threads. I'm closing this thread. Streaming Chan thread. Did anyone see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was all right. Bartender was a cutie, but man, is she full of herself. Don't care. I'm going there next week and ask for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure no one has here has the guts to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender has been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words. Oh. I wonder if there's illegal activity going on there. Like, why would you need to be careful with what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. True. Still, it wouldn't be rare for somebody to do shady stuff. This fucking city, haha. That Dr. Claw voice destroys my throat. I should not do that. <clears throat> In fact, the um, the guy that used to voice... Um, what is his name? That psychologist guy on The Simpsons. He had to stop doing that voice, and I think one other, because it tore up his throat. Might not sound like it, but... Uh, doing voice acting for certain voices or certain like sounds, like screaming and stuff, can really damage your throat. At least she's sleeping now. Last time I saw her, some week, it was... Last time we saw her taking a rest, it was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. <laughs> All of these threads just close randomly. I mean, it's just a, it's just an excuse they don't. What the? F d I'm not reading all of this. What are you doing? A white knight just beat me up. I'm fucking crying right now. Let me tell you the story. Waiting for OP. Why would you not just post it? What? I hate OP. OP delivered, but still, I'm here. Anyway, here it goes. I was. Oh my god. I was going home after buying some groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours to buy some milk. And when I finally got out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and asked, started asking for my ID. I also wanted to see in my bag if I see it, check if I wasn't a scalper. A scalper for milk? Calm down. And once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID. What's, what the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no enforced encryption anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked me for money or else they plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused, but they lost their patience and wanted to hit me right in the temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. And they just close it! I want... <laughs> worst, worst 4chan ever. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. I'm so tired of this fucking shit every day. Okay, then. Alarms rise. The Apollo Tr Trust Bank suffers terrorist attack. Updating. By Kimberly Lavalette. Hijacked screens at downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights Counterterrorism Unit responded to the threat immediately. However, the bank was then locked down by external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual... Everything about the story conflicts. I guess that's probably the point at this point. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. However, none of the terminals of the bank were working at the time. The building is basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. The augmented eye is being attacked. Bunny Faith! Hi everyone! We take seriously your security here at the Augmented Eye, and we have the obligation to disclose that recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves, or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform you that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Pollution to reach historic levels next year. Even though most countries in the world have adapted economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change, bleh. Glitch City still replies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profits high. As a result of this backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our containment levels will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. Soil is dying at an alarming pace. I mean, it's a city. The, the, the soil is basically worthless. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you get used to it. <laughs> Those are some good experts. Yeah, you get used to it. I don't know. <sighs> well, save and back up my life here. Well, 
tune in next time, and we'll find out what the hell just happened at that bank, I guess. <laughs>